Hello and welcome to the Power Archiver tutorial. Today we'll quickly go through the main Power Archiver window. The main Power Archiver window consists of the file menu that you'll see here at the top, uh, the toolbar menu with buttons for quick actions, the file listing menu that's here, and the preview window that pre previews our files here. Um, so starting with the file menu there, we can uh, open archives, create new ones, configure our clouds, or open existing or recently used uh, archives such as here. Uh, then some of our buttons on a toolbar become available. Uh, the rest of the file menu options uh, such as edit, view, actions, tools, options, and help give us various options that help managing our archives uh, very, that uh, makes very, managing our archives very easy. Um, on the uh, upper right hand side we can switch between different Power Archiver components. For example here we are in the uh, archive uh, section and if we want to click the FTP, there we go, we'll quickly go to the FTP component then to the backup and then to the burner which we can use and all of those um, have uh, specific options uh, pertaining to the application that we've chosen and any time we can go back to the archive such as this. Uh, the view menu uh, will help us uh, create Power Archiver to look exactly as the way we want it. Actions show us some of the quick um, tools that we have once we have an archive open. Our usual tools along with some new ones are here in the tools menu. The options for Power Archiver generally and some of the other uh, applications in it are in the options menu as well. So that's it. Thank you for watching uh, the main uh, Power Archiver uh, window tutorial. Thank you.